Hello friends. Uh, yesterday we talked about uh, basically what is reverse engineering. We had introduction introduction section, uh, but you know I thought you know it will be better to have this kind of session with a PPT. So uh, sorry about that. You know uh, this lecture is, is is being little late. The reason is that I was working on the uh, presentation. I had a like thirty uh, slide presentation, and we'll go through that in four to five lectures. Okay. So basically, uh, this reverse engineering uh, total unit I have divided into four parts. So uh, we'll talk about the first part, uh, the tear down process. Okay. So uh, you guys uh, know already, like what is uh, the reverse engineering or what is this process? Yesterday we talked mainly about first you need to check whether it is legal or illegal. Uh, then uh, you need to you know uh, uh, do whatever you are doing. You need to verify whether whatever you are doing is is in the in the legal jurisdiction. Okay. Second thing, like we talked about the what is reverse engineering, or how you can how you you what do you understand by it? I I gave example of uh, putting a bike together. Okay, putting bike together was an example uh, for reverse engineering. Okay, so basically this is the definition. It is uh, called back engineering. Okay, it is a uh, it may be software or anywhere in, in the machine mechanical. Or maybe in medi medicine also, like in this coronavirus, uh, they are doing the backtracking, the or they are maybe they are doing the reverse engineering of some old or other vaccines. By that they know how they can work on the vaccine for this uh, COVID-19. So basically, it it allows you to you know uh, check how the part was designed and how you can recreate it or how you can modify it, redesign it, make it better. Okay. Reverse engineering, engineering is called a reverse engineering because you know you are doing back tracing. You are trying to identify what are the different processes or what are the different parts uh, involved, and you are trying to work on it uh, by doing the by doing the back tracking. Okay, now reverse engineering and forward engineering. What is forward engineering? Whatever when we are doing a design like machine design, we have a subject called uh, MSD. Uh, so that you are doing a forward engineering. You know the specification. You know. The what are the requirements and depending on the those all those you will have a proper design and then then you will do a proper design. This is called as a forward engineering and reverse engineering is basically opposite of that. It is a backward engineering. You will be having a product ready. You will be you know uh, tearing it down or you know uh, try to see what is inside and you know how it is been made and then slowly you will be going backwards and try to identify how it is made. And you know, try to extract knowledge. Try to get uh, understanding how this whole thing was made, or how what was the architecture. Okay, so basically, this is mainly the tear down process. Okay, tear down means you are tearing it. You are uh, taking it apart. Like I, if I need to understand how iPhone is made, so what is the best way to do that? Is opening the iPhone. Yeah, you may be destructing it, but You will get to know uh, uh, like many more details. So it is advisable. Like obviously it is costly, but for sometimes it is uh, better to you know. Uh, okay, what is product tear down process? This is basically you will be uh, tearing a product, or you will be having you know different products uh, or different competitors' product, or your product you want to analyze. You will be having it in front of you. You will be breaking it. You will be tearing it. and you will try to go inside like a basically a doctor does an operation uh, he cuts the body part and then he will open it and then uh, see what is inside then you know or you try to understand how it is or what how to we can fix it like that you will be tearing the uh, cover then taking out the different parts again tearing them breaking them what thing what is inside so you will be going in step by step by step by step by approach and try to see what is inside the product so basically it is a process of taking apart like the whole uh, product and try to see what is inside and how, what the competitors did to make this uh, your uh, uh, this product so so good right so main purpose of tear down tear down uh, tearing process is tear down process is dissection and analyze during the reverse engineering process you are doing the dissection you are doing the analysis you are trying to see what is inside what are the different layers what are the different parts how they are composed what is the architecture okay then Again, you will be having experience well, while you are doing the tearing down process. You know what to, as I said uh, in yesterday's lecture, like uh, when you go to the workshop, the 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 repairman there he 
he is not very uh, educated guy but he knows by the experience he knows how to put things together because he has opened or teared or you know disassembled all those stuff so he has taken the things apart then then he has gone through all those and then he knows how to put them back together so basically tearing down process will help with the experience and your knowledge of the uh, uh, details of the product like say a uh, uh, gear system or the gearbox uh, if we uh, try to learn about the gearbox uh, say through videos and through uh, presentations and on that it will not be that uh, helpful but if you see a, a gearbox in front of you you will immediately try you will uh, you'll get much more you know a better idea or visualization of this uh, gearbox like uh, how the gears are composed how they are put together how actually they look like so it will be helpful for you the experience and the knowledge okay and then last thing is the competitive benchmark means you you will be you know having a, a good uh, basically with your competition or with your competitive you can see what are where are they how we can improve or how i can go ahead uh, uh, with the, my competitors okay okay now we will see what is a tear down process tear down tearing means something we are we will be sharing something we will be breaking something tear down we will be taking those things apart but it is not just like you know take something and tear it down it will be having a proper uh, steps proper procedure what are these the different procedures okay what are the different processes first you will be having a design issues keep what was the problem with this current design what happened what what is wrong or what do you want to modify what modification what enhancements are you looking for so you will be having those uh, uh, issues okay then you will prepare for the tear down means you will be having okay now like like doctor will be having all the equipments while doing an operation he will be having everything ready because you don't want uh, you know while in the process of operation you don't want something okay okay this thing is not there that thing is not there so you will be having all the uh, you know uh, list uh, you will be having proper preparation for a tear down then you will be doing the examination and uh, how it is the things are distributed you will see uh, like at, uh, we took a example of bike to tear down a bike you will be you cannot go directly and open the chain you have to slowly go by step by step first you have to take out the seat then slowly you take out the handles then you will go with the mud guards then you will take out the uh, different uh, what you can say uh, 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 screws uh, where the you know wheels are attached so then you will be taking out the uh, wheels then you will be taking out the chain then you will opening a uh, spoke of the wheel and all that so you will go step by step by step you, you cannot just opening the engine you cannot directly go to the piston you have to go in the step by step procedure so this is this disassemble major and analyze data by assemblies means you will be slowly step by step you will be going in different assembly you will be doing the disassemble process and you will be made okay now the first of this uh, tear down process is the least design issues basically is okay for the new product okay, uh, like uh, for the new product basically what are the different things you know market wants what are the competitors have what are the you know what you will need to understand like say for making a phone you need to first see different phones of the existing your competitors then you will see what are the different things they are providing or how they are made up of like say if you are getting a big screen now like say a uh, 5 inch screen and you cannot say okay well, I, i have a 2 inch screen and it is great you have to do something better than that so like right, you know you will be going through the different tier down process of different products of your competitor and then you will see you know what is or what we can improve like say in the when doing the redesign uh, as as i pointed here like you know different points what means what was the difficult like something was they were not able to achieve or what was the difficulty they had uh, or dimensional like say making uh, like a thin phone okay or maybe like making a thick phone or what is better like what is the different thicknesses what is the weight material color which you know which you can make it better like weight you can make it lightweight 
or you can make it uh, better in the color or finish or material material like say everybody is using, using plastic now or uh, apple phones have metals uh, uh, for the covering so like because of that it it, uh, it increases the finish it increases the robustness so you know having uh, like some samsung phones have this kind of uh, aluminum body so with that will improve the, your uh, reception uh, all that so like uh, we will see the uh, all the different phones we will tear it down and then we'll see how how we can we improve all that like so these are the different questions you need to ask while you are doing the uh, 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 tear down before doing the tear down what are the different de design issues you you are having okay now the second as i said uh, pre prepare for the product tear down once you know the what are the things you know you are looking for then basically you what you need like you need to have proper okay plan or the, okay this is what we are doing we will be needing this kind of equipment we will need these sensors we need this camera we will having the recording we will need some notes and we will need a uh, multimeter and all that for uh, measuring all different currents and all that so you will be having all the proper preparation that is the second step then third step is examination of uh, the distribution and the installation basically this means all the parts or like whatever you have in, you need to know how it is distributed or how it is because they will be uh, uh, like almost all equipment machines have the installation manual so you need to know that like for the, you know what are the different costs and all that you, you need to go through the installation manual or the distribution how it was made so this is like the third step you, uh, you need to uh, uh, take care while doing the uh, tear down next thing is as I said you will start actual uh, tear down process disassemble measure and analyze the data will be having actual step by step will be uh, different assemblies you will be taking them apart and you will be noting down what are different uh, steps you took uh, then uh, you will be taking pictures you will be having recording you will be doing the measurements dimensions all that so you will be doing that step by step for different assemblies and you will get to know all different parts of this uh, uh, your product then the last stage is having the bill of material so basically once everything is ready all that uh, you have all the uh, parts uh, list your pictures photos then you will be having a proper uh, you know details of each product and what are the different uh, this bill of material so basically you having a, a, a cat drawing where all the parts are shown and in the cat drawing and uh, you will be having a proper bill of materials in there